Hello. Hmm. So it's literally the 29th of August and that means I'm going back to school in like three days. Which I really, 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 really don't want to do at all. I'm not up for going back to school at all. So I thought, what video can I film? What will people want to see? And considering it's like new, I'm new to YouTube, this is one of my first videos. I thought, oh, let's do a makeup tutorial. So basically, I'm going to film a back to school makeup tutorial. And it's going to be really simple and really cheap because it hasn't looked Right, so I'm first going to start off doing foundation. I'm really not going to put much on because no one wants to wear like proper cakey full coverage makeup to school and I'm just going to use the ordinary foundation for that. Right, I'm going to tie my hair back even though I've just straightened it and it's probably going to kink but gotta do what we gotta do. Also do you like the little background? I mean it's not very impressive but it is what it is. Now I'm just going to have to ruin it to take my brushes. I'm just going to blend all that in in circular motions all around my face. So if anyone's interested, this time around I'm starting sixth form which means my GCSEs and everything like that are over and I'm done with main school and so I'm actually moving school and I'm really nervous, like really nervous because I've been to an all girls school since year 7, since I was about 11 and now I'm going to like a mixed school with all new people and stuff which is really really scary for me. So once all my foundation's blended in, I'm gonna go in with some cream contour. I know this is a bit of a weird order, but it just works best for me because when I go straight in with my concealer, it creases really, really quick. And because this is a cream product, this cream contour, I don't wanna powder my face and then go on with the contour. So I'm gonna do this first and then I can powder my face once I've done my concealer, if that makes sense. I am using the Huda Beauty Tantor in the shade Light. I actually love this cream contour. I think it's the best one I've used so far because it's really, really easy to blend. So I'm going into the year where you start A-levels and for A-levels I'm gonna take art, maths and business. And so basically today, we have transition work to do in summer before we go into the lesson and I've not done much. And I was trying to do the maths today and oh my God, because of quarantine and lockdown, I haven't done maths in literally like six months. And like maths is one of the things you have to keep doing to remember it or you do if it's me. And literally like, I could not remember it at all. I was literally sat there crying, probably crying about like, Five, five times today, and that's because I just couldn't do it. And it's so, so frustrating because when I think, you know, you used to have to do it. But now I just couldn't do it at all. I'm gonna go in with a cream blush now. I'm cream blush. Cream blush. I'm using the P Louise. It's one of the P Louise bases, and it's in the shade Cute and Coral. This is like a really nice, like coral peachy shade. So I'm just gonna put this on the high point of my cheek. I'm going to blend it out with. It's a BH Cosmetics brush in number five, and I'm just gonna blend this up on the high points of my cheek. So how is everyone feeling about going back to school? I'm really, really not up for it. I'm normally excited to get back to school a little bit. For the first day, I'm like, oh, this was nice. But then like after that, I'm like, right, I'm done. I want to be off again. But this time I'm really, really not looking forward to school. Right, once all of my cream blush is blended out, now I'm going to go in with concealer. So the concealer I'm going to go in with is the Maybelline Fit Me one. I'm just going to put this a little bit under my eyes. I'm not going to put too much on at all. And now I'm going to go in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer just to cover up some spots because this one is a lot closer to my skin tone. And I'm just going to blend out the concealer which I put on my spots with the Morphe M173. Yeah, M173 brush. So, because I'm going to a new school, they've got a whole different dress code to what my school would have been. If I had stayed at my, oh, I can't even say that. If I'd stayed at my school, which I'm currently at, we have like the best dress code ever. It's literally like wear whatever you want as long as it's not too like revealing, you know what I mean? Um, but this school's got like a proper like, it's like work attire dress code, dress, <sighs> dress code, which, I have no clothes for like, at all, so I've had to order like a lot of clothes. Going in with this new brush, it's the Peaches and Cream PC19 brush. Uh, I don't know how this is going to be, but I'm just going to try and blend that out now. I don't know if it's just on camera, but this concealer looks like a little bit like it's just stuck here. So I'm going to go back in with this concealer and just put a little bit under here to blend it more into my foundation. There we go. So finally, this is all blended out. So on a beauty blender, I'm just gonna go with my Huda Beauty setting powder. This is a translucent shade, and I'm just going to stamp that all under my eye and pat it all in. I'm actually gonna do my smile lines because they are parts of your face which start to crease throughout the day. So I've just dusted off all of that excess powder which was left on my face, and now I'm going to go in with 
a bronzer. I'm going in with my favourite bronzer. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer in the shade Saddle. This is literally my favourite. I've had it for years. It's probably expired, but I think it literally is the best bronzer because it's like the perfect shade and it's just so, oh, it's just so good. I'm literally just going to apply it to my forehead and my cheekbones. Notice that I'm blending upwards, like I'm doing circular motions up because you don't want to drag this down and I'm just doing the same on this side is it just me who has a like a favourite side of the face like literally this side of my face is so much better than this side I don't even know how to explain it like it's just better I, oh, I keep feeling like I need to burp and it's not coming like it's in the back of my throat just some air <laughs> right so I'm going to do my nose contour now and I'm not actually using the contour I'm going back in with the same bronzer I'm going in with this fluffy brush I like to do a little bit on the bottom of my nose which like brings my nose up a bit or I think it does and then I'm just going to go down the sides as well but really really softly and I'm not just going to stop at my nose I'm going to blend it into the front of my eyebrow so it doesn't look too harsh at all okay so once I finish my bronzer I'm going to go with blush and I'm going in with the Anastasia blush kit but in this palette I'm going in with the shade up here it's the peachier colour. I'm going to tap this up here on my cheek. I used to hate blush. Like, I'm pretty sure everyone went through a phase when blush just, like, wasn't a thing at all. But recently, like this summer, blush is just, like, the nicest thing. And again, I'm going to pull it up here. Rather than focusing it on, like, the apples of my cheek, I'm going to pull it up because it gives you more of, like, a lifted look. Now I'm going to do brows. I haven't dyed my brows, and I think I'm going to dye them before I go to school because it's just so much quicker but I don't have any brow dye on them now so I'm going to go in with this brow gel it's from P. Louise again and it's a tinted one I think I'm going to put this brow gel in first see what they look like and then maybe go in with a brow pencil so this is a tinted brow gel I mean I think they are like quite a lot harder to work with because if they go around your eyebrow it is so frustrating and they're like they can be quite messy but I think I'm just going to keep this to like the back portion of my brow I'm just gonna brush the hair upwards. Oh, and I'm not liking that. I'm quickly going in with a brow brush which has nothing on. I'm just gonna like try and get that product out of the front. Do I fill in the end a little bit? Oh, it also looks like I've got a slit in my eyebrow. The annoying thing about this brow gel is literally if it touches any hairs, you know, like peach fuzz or anything like that you have on your face, it will make it brown. Like, can you see above my eyebrow here? So annoying. Right, I'm just gonna go with a little Q-tip and try and... Right, that's just not coming off, is it? So at this point, if you don't think your brows are filled in enough to what you like, you can go in with a brow pencil. I would recommend a brow pencil. You can obviously go in with whatever you like, but brow pencils, you can apply like different amount of pressure. So it can come off really dark if you want it in the tail of your brow, but if you want to fill in at the front of your brow, you can also apply a lot less pressure and it will come off a lot lighter. I'm just going to do a few really light hair strokes through the back of my brow. So at this point I would usually carve out my brows but again I really don't want that, how do I put it, it's like full on makeup look which I'm just not going for. So I'm just going to leave my brows like this and I'm going to pull the camera back out. Do I do fake freckles? Maybe I should, they're kind of cute. I mean fake freckles definitely aren't necessary at all, I probably won't even do them when I go to school but I think right now they'll look really cute. So again I'm going to go back in with this cream contour, the Huda Beauty one. I'm going to go in with this super super tiny brush. Um. Will it focus? It's absolutely tiny. If you want really thin brushes, I would recommend burn paintbrushes. This is a paintbrush, a face painting brush. And they're so much better than like, any makeup brush you can get anywhere. And they're so much thinner and more precise. And literally, I'll pack a pack of 10 of these maybe for like 6 pounds, 7 pounds. I would recommend them so much. You can see at this point the ones I've drawn on are a lot darker than the ones which are already there. So I'm just going to lightly tap over them, which blends them out a lot more. So you can see now these freckles are quite harsh and if they are like this and you're not liking them just go over them with a little bit of powder. I'm going to go over mine now with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and it'll just make them not look as harsh. It'll also set them in place so if you're not liking them be sure to rub them off quickly before you do this. Right, should I pull these two pieces of hair? No that just looks worse. Oh, right. Now I'm doing my fake freckles, I'm going to go in with a highlight. I do not want this to look too blonde. I keep feeling like I'm out of breath and like I need something, but I don't know what it is. Look at the bottom of my water. 
Toss out, look at the little monkey. Anyway, for highlight, because I want like a really subtle but still glowy highlight, I'm gonna go in with the MAC Soft and Gentle. This is like an OG highlighter. I've had this probably like five years. But I'm gonna go in with this really, really tiny highlight brush. I know many of you are going with like much bigger ones. I'll show you what a regular highlight brush looks like for comparison. Um, can't find one. Okay, it doesn't look like there's a massive difference. But because this one is much more dense compared to this one, it will apply your glow a lot more precisely. Instead of putting it up here like I used to, I'm going to focus it more on this point of my face because that is where the light often hits and that is where I like my highlight to be. Put a little bit on there like that. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. And on my cupid bow, I'm just using the same brush that we were using before. But for my nose, I'm going in with a pencil brush because they're much more precise and I don't look like my nose looking wide. So if I went in with this brush on my nose, it would highlight all across there because unlike most people, I don't have like a point right at the end of my nose. Like it actually like goes in a little bit here. So if I went in like that, I would not just get like a nice little point, I'd get like a line. So I'm going in with a tiny brush. This is the brush I'm going in with. It's a Morphe uh, M431 brush. And I'm just going to put that on my nose here. Right at the end. A little bit under there, a little bit on the inner corner. Same for the other brow and a tiny tiny bit here. So at this point I'm literally almost done. I have eyes to do and lips to do and for my eyes I'm going to keep it really really simple. I'm just going to put a little bit of mascara on and definitely curl my lashes. I love curling my lashes even if it's a day where I'm wearing absolutely no makeup I'll still curl my lashes because I just think it looks so much nicer. Like do you not think that looks so much better where you can see my lashes versus you can't see them at all. I'm going to go with a tiny bit of mascara. This is the Maybelline push up drama mascara. I'm just gonna focus it on the root of my eyelash and sort of wiggle it outwards. Just like that. If I think the mascara has made my bottom lashes like a little bit too long, I will go and like, like a little spoolie sort of brush, which has no product on, and sort of like brush them up, if you know what I mean, like go like that and it sort of takes off the product. Okay, and now the last thing to do is lips, and I'm really not going to do a lot for lips. All I'm going to do is take off all of the product which has got on there and put on a lip balm. So I'm just going to go with my massive pot of Vaseline. This is massive. And I'm just going to put it on as a lip balm. That is basically what I would do my makeup like for school. Oh, you can see my hair's kinked from having it in that scrunchie. Oh look at that kink, I'm going to have to straighten that. So as for hairstyles I would do, I literally going to go to school with my hair down like this. I used to always, always, always have a high ponytail but now I'd so much rather it just be like tied back like this and then maybe pull out a few little strands at the front. I think that's going to be like a go to hairstyle if my hair's a bit greasy or something but I'm not tying it back because we've just seen it kinked. But if you have liked this video, I'm going to say the same thing that everyone else says. Please like and subscribe. I know that's so cringy to say because literally everyone says it, but it actually does help. And because this is one of my first videos, literally like five people are going to see it. So if you do like it, please like it. <laughs> oh, I've got an itch on my ear. Okay, that's about it. I hope you've liked this video. I hope it's been helpful. Okay, bye.